Hey, what's up guys? It's Franklin Manol here and in this video today, I'm going to be sharing with you guys how we can use Canva for your design. Now, this is actually going to be a beginner tutorial, right? I'm going to be walking you guys through the step-by-step -step process on how we can actually get started with using Canva for all of your design. And even if you are already using Canva, you're going to be learning in this video some tips and tricks that you can actually use to make your designs better and, you know, uh, you can actually get better presentation to the outside world. Now, in today, most businesses, basically every business is in the online space need designs right you need designs for social media you need designs for presentation you need designs for your business for flyers for id card and so many other things right and you know it is actually sometimes quite expensive to hire a designer or other times you might want to you know do these things yourself but you cannot even you know do this super simple designs by yourself and this is exactly why you know canva has actually decided to make it very super easy for anybody who needs design can basically come up to this simple app and they get to create their designs for themselves now canva has made this design process very simple for even beginner so that even if you don't know anything about design right even if you don't know you know anything you don't know jack about designs you can actually come up to this app and you can get started with using this app and you can create stunning designs for your business so it's actually more of like a shortcut or a hack to getting simple sweet designs for your business and pushing into the outside world so like right here on my screen you can see i'm currently on the website canva.com right i'm gonna leave the link to get to canva right down there in the description section and the cool thing here is there's actually a free version of canva right so you can actually use canva for free it's a free tool and at the same time you can get access to some more features when you go for the paid version but right now i'm going to be showing you guys you know how to get everything for free like everything you're going to be needing with canva all for free all right you're going to be using this free version of canva to do your simple design and get started with it then i should just then as we proceed along i will be showing you guys you know some other cool features that you might also get with canva but then they might just be pro right but i'm still going to be sharing with you guys how to easily get these things so that you know you can really you know make stunning designs for your business and you go ahead and push with it so right here on my screen you can see here i'm at canva.com and this basically you can see the the tagline here design collaborate and share and one of the coolest things I love about this particular tool is the fact that it allows you to design, you know, for the different needs your business, you know, um, would want, right? So you can see here, from presentations to videos to Instagram posts to Facebook posts to posters and logos, flyers to social media to YouTube thumbnail, Facebook covers, a whole lot of them. Now I'm scrolling through the website here. Well, let me just say this is more of like um, just, you know, a little bit right up about what they do and scrolling down here you can see their templates they have templates for everything now if you're a beginner and you're looking for the best way to start designing like you want a design like in the next three minutes you know there are actually some times where you need a design and you're telling your designer oh get this thing done for me i want this design to be like this and like this and it takes him you know sometimes 72 hours to produce a design like i've actually been in this situation and it is hell i'm like i need this thing right now i need to make this correction right now and push it out to the to, to my audience and i can't get a good you know design done because this guy might probably be using photoshop or some other you know um big design tools and it will take them a whole lot of time uh, so coming right here you can actually see they have series of templates that you can use to get started for yourself so let me go ahead and show you guys. So you can see here, come over to templates. You can see social media templates from Instagram to Facebook to YouTube to LinkedIn. There are, there are personal templates and you can see everything you have here. Invitation card, resumes, postcards for business. You can do presentation. You can do websites, logos, business cards. For marketing, you have you know a list here for education, for trends. You also have you know series of things you can do right here so this particular application is quite huge like very huge and you know trust me this is going to solve all of your design needs like everything you need you know um when it comes to design for your business and for whatever you do as a creator so coming over to this section you can see the features here one of the coolest thing i love about you know this particular app is the fact that it also has the mobile version right 
So you can also easily create designs on your Android phone or your iOS device. That's if you have an iPhone. And this is so cool because here it makes no excuses for you. So you can say, oh, I don't have a laptop and I don't know how to make designs. You can simply download this app on your phone and you can get to design, you know, right there on your phone. And it is as slick and as cool as it can ever be. Right. So I'm actually going to be signing into my own account. The very first thing you need to do when you come here is to sign up. Right, so you can come here and sign up. And when you sign up here, you know, let me go ahead and smash on the sign up button. And you can see here, you can just impute your email, you send you a link, you come in here, you sign in, and you're good to go. So I'm gonna go ahead to you know sign in into my account and share with you guys, you know, some cool stuff you can actually do with Canva. Um, logging into my account, you can see I have my designs, right? These are some of my designs, and you can see basically here I do my presentations here, I do all of my thumbnails right on Canva, and you know, a few other things that I have in here. So scrolling down, you can see they have a series of templates for Instagram posts, social media presentations presentations right and this is actually you know one of the coolest parts you can see um templates for youtube thumbnail for certificates for invoices for letterheads for resumes for logos for flyers like basically everything guys this particular tool is there to cover up all of your design needs like every freaking thing you would definitely ask for from a designer this tool gives it to you so i'm gonna actually go ahead and show you guys you know how to get started with creating a design so that you can see how it works and you can start creating one for yourself from right after watching this particular video today. So I can actually scroll down and, you know, um, see all of the templates they have. So now, guys, the cool thing is I can actually go ahead and, you know, do a quick search using my keyword. So let's say, for instance, you have a burger restaurant, for, instance, for example, and you can actually just come over to the search bar here and um, just type in burger. So once I just impute that keyword, um, it's going to really search up for, you know, the different templates that you can create around burger. And you can basically see here, guys, these are very cool designs. Like these are very cool designs that you can use. These are very cool designs that you can use. Okay, guys. So basically now I am going to pick up this one. Let's, let us start up with this one here. You can see this um, particular design and the thing is once you actually click tap on it it opens up in a new template or in a new dashboard for you on your browser now once it's opened up in a new um, dashboard you can basically go ahead and you know zoom in to see the design wow guys trust me but this is wonderful i don't know how you actually see this template it's quite cool and straightforward now this particular design you can actually use for your social media post or even to run ads on um, facebook on youtube and so many other places and as you can see it's just quite simple straightforward and you know um, it really calls attention the colors are very cool so you can see here basically it just says delicious burger and um, let me just edit this and impute my own um, burger store. So let me just say, man, Mandabi, Mandabi burgers, right? So um, I can actually go ahead and do a quick change. And now one of the cool things you're actually going to realize when you come over to, you know, um, this particular dashboard where you design is that first you're going to be getting a series of templates on the left hand side. You can see the templates here you have. There are several templates here. You can see elements and, you know, all of these elements here are available for you to, you know, um, make use of during your designs, right? You have elements, you have graphics, lines, um, photos, and at the same time, you have videos and audio, right? You can actually use all of these things for your design. Now, most of them are free and others are also paid for. And this you can actually get access to when you join, you know, the Canva Pro um, plan. Right? And when you actually join the Canva Pro plan, you can get access to all of those, you know, pro um, features and pictures and templates that are here on Canva. But at the same time, you might not, you know, want to join, jump on the, the pro plan. You can decide to buy, you know, each of those pro photos or each of those pro media files right here on Canva. And you can see your upload here. These are all of your upload. You can see your photos. These are, you know, all of the photos that are available for you here. Now, all of these are free stock images and you can use any of them for your designs and, you know, um, just go along with what you want. Now, these are several text um, designs that you can also use for your, you know, um, for your design, for the design you're currently working on. Now I'm going to go back to templates and you can see here, this is the template we have right here. So you can quickly make adjustments. And the cool thing here is, you know, you can just drag and drop in. 
So let's take for instance, you just want to add, you know, one or two texts right into this particular space because we are currently working with a template and because it's a template, there is just a, you know, um, there are a few things that you might want to change while you leave others to just flow. So let's say you come over to this section and pick on text. You can add a header text here, you can see. And um, let's say, uh, let's say we want to add something like a restaurant. Yep, and once I actually have that, you are going to see, you know, um, some of the options you have here to edit this particular text. So you can see, you can change the font style, you can change the font size, you can you know, change the color, bolden it, um, change it to italics, and you can align, and you can also make it in a list format. You can also, you know, um, add changes to the spacing, you can do a lot of effects. Right, you have options for effects right here and i'm going to be walking you guys through all this one after the other so let's start up from you know the font style now you have access to a series of font style now most of the fonts here are free and there are also some pro fonts now because you are currently using the free version of canva you won't be getting access to some you know um pro fonts they have in here so let's just pick up this one it's free and once you've picked that up, you can go ahead and to the next option here. Let's increase the font size. Yep, let's increase the font size. And once that, that's done, you can also go ahead and change the font color. And now the cool thing is when you're actually changing the font color, it's Canva on its own just looks through the design you have and picks up the very different colors from that particular design so that if you want to replicate or if you want to reuse a particular color, it's easy for you. And you can see right here, there are photo colors and you can see on the photo colors it's giving you all of the colors that you already have inside of the design and you can reuse them right so this is quite cool for now i just want to use white i just want to use white here right? you can just um use your mouse to drag that particular you know um element and move it to wherever you want to so let me just leave it right here underneath and yeah we are still working on this let me highlight it again and you can bold in this because of the fonts that we chose and you can also make it italics too so you can go ahead and change the alignment and make other effects let me come out to effects and you can see here on the effects section you have various styling and various shapes and i'm going to just give it this so let's say we have this um, shadowy background to give the text a lift so let's say we are giving the text a lift and um, you can see the way it just applies right there and this is cool but you might not be able to see it properly because it's on a dark background and this lift also gives it a darker background that would you know make it um, a little bit different from the background itself like it's lifted above that particular section so this is quite cool and you can also go ahead and make you know various changes all of these things here elements and you can add yours right you can add yours and this is let, okay let, let me edit this text right now so if i'm not doing 50 percent, i just want to do 30 percent off you can go ahead and make change to this particular you know um text and go ahead and play around you can see while i'm hovering you know my cursor you can see the way it's highlighting each of the elements that is currently on this design right here so you can make changes here and there. I don't like this font. My audience might not understand what it is. So let's say I want to pick another font and I switch it to um, this one, Cado. So I'm like, okay, swipe up. So this is more of like um, for Instagram stories where it says swipe up or other now something like that, right? So this is cool and straightforward and you can actually start using it for yourself. And once you're actually done with your design, Another cool thing you're going to see here is at the top of the design, you can duplicate this page. For instance, you can duplicate this page and, um, you know, make it into another page. So let's say, for instance, you want to more of like um, see both designs, right? I duplicate this page. I make changes to this design and compare it to the first one and see which one works better. That's simple and straight. So once I have done that, you can also see you can delete the, 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 the page and at the same time you can also add a new page so you can add a blank page where you can start creating your design from scratch so once you're totally cool with this design you're satisfied you can come over to this section and click on download so i'm going to click on download and you can see that you can download the png 
of the particular image. Now you cannot you download as a transparent with a transparent background or compressed file. These are pro features. But if you want to get access to so many other features, you can actually swap move from the free Canva to the pro Canva. I'm going to leave you the link to the free Canva right down there for you to use and sign up. And at the same time, if you're looking at signing up to the pro or assessing all of its features, I'm going to leave a link for you to you know get on that to so write down there in the description so that you can you know get access to this particular tool. And at the same time, you're going to get a bonus using my link. All of those links, you're going to get a bonus when you use them to sign up to Canva. Whether it's a free version or it's a pro version, you're going to be using. And at the same time, if you love the design, tell me yes, you love it in the comment section below. And guys, subscribe to this channel. Subscribe to this channel right now. And you know, I'm smash on the bell icon so that you do not miss any of my videos. So going ahead, once you've been able to, you know, um, select what file type you want, you can come over to this section and select your pages. Remember that we actually duplicated some pages. So let me go ahead and delete those pages so that it doesn't really affect our download. So I have just one now and I can go ahead and download it. So once I smash on download, it opens up ASAP and downloads right down on my desktop. Yeah, so you can see I can easily download this right now and it's saved on my desktop. Let me open up this design we just did so you can see. Let me open it up so you can see, guys, this is the design we just did. This is the cool design we just finished up with right now. So I'm going to go back and um, show you guys. Let's try some other keyword, right? Let's try some other keyword. So let's say it's a business um, flyer you want to create. I'm just going to go in and tap on business. Now, the cool thing is I'm not like you can't start designing your thing from scratch. You can make your own design from scratch. But the reason I'm actually using templates or showing you the possibilities here is because most times, um, you, most of people do not really, you know, have the design sense. For those who do not have the design sense and they can't design from scratch, you can come ahead and use a template to design. They have very cool templates that you can use. And that's, this is basically why I'm actually using templates right here. So I just typed in business as a keyword and it's bringing up a whole lot of you know um, templates that I can use and guys you must have seen most of these templates on your social media these are cool you know um, high class designs and these designs here can really compete with those ones that you know you're gonna use those huge tools for Premiere Pro and the rest of them so scrolling down you can see you know various cool designs right here so this one here is for is, is a flyer for an event so let me just open this in the new tab so you can see what it looks like. Look at this one here is for a webinar and it's free. This is free. It's totally free for you to use. This one here is for, is for a webinar and scrolling. I, I said this one too. So this is another one here for, you know, um, let's say a business flyer you just want to create. So see here, guys, uh, you can see it says here, we help businesses grow their brand. And there is an image at the background of this man, a businessman basically, and then few text here and a button. And underneath you can see the website address, the phone number, the um, address of the, the location address, and then a button work with us, right? Now this is a very cool design. And all you need to do here, what I would most likely do is to first go ahead and duplicate. I can just quickly duplicate this. And um, let's say I want to make changes here and there. And let's say, I don't like this photo at the background. I can decide to go ahead and search for photos. And here I will search for keyword again. I go ahead and search for keyword and I put business and I'm coming here searching all around for another business photo, any photo of a businessman. So let's see, I can't find, let me go ahead and search for a businessman. Yep, so you can actually see see this one here is free there are others that are pro meaning that you know you would have to join jump on the paid version in order to get them so i'm going to insert this so instead of just dropping it in let me drag it and drop it in here so i can actually stretch it all through this particular page and um, i'm going to show you guys what i'm going to do right now so stretch it in and bring this out this way so that it can really take a very good position and I can change the, the position of that particular image. Now, each of these elements, they are they actually lay on top of each other in layers, right? They they lay on top of each other according to you know how and when you drag them on the, your design um, space, your canvas. So the thing here is you can actually change the position of each of the elements you have here. So let me change the position to back, go back. And guys, you can see basically that, you know, um, this design I have here has covered up, you know, the previous image, which is the first one we had here. And coming over here, you can make a few changes to, let's say I wanted this to be red. So let me change this to red. 
I pick red and um, I just in my brand color is red basically so I pick red again I want to change everything here to red so I'm just gonna make all the changes here so if you are finding it a little bit hard to um, smash on any icon what you can basically do is to zoom in right you can actually zoom in and get yeah so as you can see I've just done that and because this is red let me change the text here to white so let me change it to white so that I can actually you know show a little bit more on the background which is red already so once I've been able to do that I can still zoom it back out and let me change this to white too so you can see guys how I'm able to use you know each of the options I have here for the settings to make changes here and there so once I've been able to do this guys I can easily download this particular flyer and share it out to my you know to my audience and my business is good to go now guys coming back to this session this is another great you know um, design you have here for business you can add your logo and make changes here and there to this design and this one here is another cool design you have so the possibilities of Canva are just so much. You can use this to create, you know, cool, stunning designs for yourself. But the thing is, you just have to get started, right? To get started and play around with their templates, that is basically what I'm going to advise anybody starting out right now to do. Don't really start thinking you have the design sense. Go ahead and use the templates. And the cool thing is the template is there for you as a shortcut so that you can get designs done faster. Right, rather than starting to think of how to place you know elements and how to do your colors and you don't need to think about it, just use a template to create these things right here on Canva and you're good to go. Right? Create your do your templates, change your colors here and there, you know, um make it turn to your own brand colors and you're cool and good. So this is it with Canva. This is basically how you can use Canva to create stunning designs for your brand and you get designs done faster. If you love this video, give it a thumbs up right now and also subscribe to my channel and also smash on the bell icon so you do not miss any of my videos. At the same time, guys, if you love this video and you want me to show you guys, you know, how you can make money using Canva, right? Then you can tell me, yes, I want to learn how to make money using the Canva app in the description section below so that I can show you guys how I make a lot of money using this simple app and you can replicate and make money for yourself using this free app right basically uh, go ahead and make sure you use the links I have right down there to sign up on Canva and you can start using this tool for yourself right with this guys I'm gonna be seeing you guys in my next video peace